Alright guys, welcome back to another video of King Aesthetics coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video I have something pretty awesome and it is the Trencher best class setup and I'm actually very excited to show you guys this weapon and all that stuff. So could you guys do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, really help me a lot, try and hit my goal of 1600 subscribers and let's get into it. So first of all, you're going to obviously need the Trencher, the Trencher by the way is an SMG, it's one of the new DLC weapons which is kind of why I'm covering at the moment any camo any accessory i put on burger town just because i mean it's kind of iconic to modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 you know it's pretty lit then go with a foregrip attachment just because it does have a little bit of recoil also go with quick draw i would not go with a red dot on this gun just because the sights are actually pretty clean go with a laser sight and then go with extended mags all the other two or the other four that are on the bottom it doesn't really matter and then go with dexterity because this kind of has a slow re like reload time. Then you can go with anything you really want. I go with hardline just because it helps with stats and stuff like that. And actually getting more kills and like more score and stuff like that. Also went with gung ho just because you could run, sprint, all that stuff and shoot perfectly fine. By the way, you could run scavenger or dead silence on those perk 2 or 3. Just because it'd probably help out a lot more. But here's just some gameplay and I'm actually going to talk about the weapon. I was going to do it earlier and actually have it on my channel yesterday but i was kind of raging a ton about this gun because i don't know this gun is very bipolar it's like i was doing super super terrible but then next thing you know i went like 35 and 13 i was like yo what type of weapon is this because this weapon needs to be used a lot more this weapon when you put on all those attachments i said plus laser sight's gonna help because there's times where you're gonna actually have people like up in front of your face maybe a shotgun maybe they miss a shell or something at you and then you just pull out that laser sight. Next thing you know, you're completely screwed because they're not going to kill you. Literally, like, there's so many times that I've actually been able to actually use the laser sight effectively on this weapon. That it's actually pretty incredible. It's actually really awesome as well. I really do like the weapon now, thinking of it. I don't know, something about it. Which is making it so bipolar and so difficult to actually use. But personally, I think this is probably... One of the best DLC weapons we got. Definitely not better than the VPR, but this is definitely a pretty good weapon. Plus, it is basically the stun from World War II, which I forgot what exactly country manufactured it, but it's basically exactly like the stun. If you were to look up the stun from any Call of Duty or just from World War II, this is exactly what the gun would look like, especially seen as the actual like bar on the side, like the little reload thing. A little clip magazine whatever you really want to call it that's exactly the same reloads exactly the same as well the gun looks just straight up old school amazing and it's actually super good honestly the only thing i don't like is the moderate fire rate just because i wish the gun would actually have a higher fire rate just because it would help out a lot more during gunfights but you know i'm it's not bad plus the only reason i really want with extended mags on this gun is because it only has like 32 bullets without extended mags and sometimes you just cannot get that triple kill or you cannot get that quad thief frenzy kill super kill and next thing you know you're like screwed because you have no other secondary weapon to choose unless you picked one off the ground when you're running around or something because i mean that's the only time really and that's kind of why i went with extended mags and this guy's just awesome like i give it a solid 8 out of 10 fire rate could have been higher i would have gave it a 9 out of 10 I wish it was done a little bit better at longer ranges, but short to medium range, it is amazing with this class setup, which is perfect for it. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this. If you guys did like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment you guys do want to see next. I will post more videos in the future. How much goal of 1,600 subscribers? And let me know if you guys are actually going to use this class setup. Let me know how good you guys do if you guys decide to use this class setup. And also, I have another class setup, which will be on the like mini lmg that we got or the minigun really and it's gonna be very exciting for that so yeah as i said like the video subscribe and i'm out